Hey, what's up? Today, I'm gonna to show you what's inside my guitar workstation, or tech box sometimes as we call it, as this workstation right here has done hundreds of shows all across North America until I and subsequently it retired in 2011. And over the past 10 years, it's just been with me and its contents have remained virtually unchanged. So let's take a look. What we used to use on the road every single night from all the parts and cool gadgets and just extra cool stuff that I know you'll love to see. So let's check it out. All right, so these things come in many different shapes and forms. This is a four drawer. The top folds down to close up, and there's also a lid that goes on the front here that covers everything. And what's awesome is that there is legs inside of this that can open up and it becomes a table so it can sit right next to you if you need a little extra room. Up here, we got kind of like a, I don't even know what that is, like some sort of rubber, but it's kind of like soft there. It's nice for your guitars. This has taken a beating over the years. Dr. Parts, let's take a look at the top here. Little shelf, that's cool. Look at this thing. This is a gift from Bert from Intune for me, the pick stick. You can get yourself one of these, cool little pick holder there. Knob for the drill bit thing there for the, uh, the tuning knobs. Little amp you gotta have tuner this is cool a little drum key guy for the drill all the allen wrenches i normally go for and finally what i got sitting up here some picks and a uh seven string nut there brand new for a floyd rose r48 i'm gonna have to replace uh the nut on my custom esp ra1 because um one of these got stripped out and so uh, i'm gonna be doing that soon i'll show you guys that but let's take a look at the guts here first drawer the money drawer it's got all the stuff you got to reach for every single day and these things would service on the road all the guitar techs we had you know you you want to keep the same guitar tech if you can just uh over the years because they get to know your stuff and your routine and all that and it's uh it's definitely cool but guys come and go uh that's just the way it works out there but um you get them familiar with your box or sometimes they'll even have their own box depending on you know what kind of veteran they are but we built our own here and um this thing like I said, it's just served us well over the years. We started with this guy over here, which we'll go through all that as well, but it was top heavy and just didn't, wasn't the best. We needed something a little bit bigger, um, even a little shorter, because it was kind of hard, you know, when you're up here working on guitars and stuff. But so anyways, this just, it just becomes extra parts and storage that we'd bring along in there. And this is kind of the stuff that we'd work with every day. So just all the normal screwdrivers, knives, cleaning stuff, soldering iron, some tape, we got more tape and another thing there, just all sorts of stuff. Drill bits, wrenches, all that kind of stuff, just regular tools. Let's move on to the next drawer here. Here, batteries, we used to keep all the touring picks inside of here for each tour. Let's see what's in here now, it's lasted over the years. These are some Ah, come here, Christmas 15 picks from the uh, last come here, Christmas show there. Hope you can see those. Here, you can keep those. What else? Ah, some old, these are some 2009 Camira Jim LaMarca infection picks. Somehow managed to hang on to there. Some random Dunlaps, more random Dunlaps. <laughs> some of the old Crom Mark Hunter picks. Those are super rare. Some Emil Wurstler Camiras have made it all this way. And that's it. Stuff like that. My maiden pick collection is another spot of the basement here. Oh, and also, I apologize for this hideous set design here is this is not normally where I film but it's just a different part of my basement where I keep this stuff you know do a lot of my stuff if you guys have seen from my uh previous videos in my small little tech box the ultra case tech box and a lot of you guys ask about that where do you get that I'll leave a link for the description below um but that thing's super cool for just doing smaller gigs where you can't you know bring something like this you need like a trailer to bring this thing around and stuff but anyway so this sits over here and I just use the small tech box for a lot of stuff um that I'm just you know changing strings here and there or whatever but for the main stuff when I need to come in here it's nice to have this separate little area to work in 
And in a lot of my earlier videos, back when I was at my old studio, before I closed that down, before the 2020 pandemic, um, a lot of you guys would ask about this box. What's inside of it? What's going on with that? So finally getting around to showing it off. See, I listen, just takes me a few years, you know? So, oh yeah, this is cool. Check, check these parts out here. Look at all these nuts for Floyd Rose nuts. All these, I mean, there's tons of them. All the little Floyd blocks, that's all that all these are. Gonna have tons of extra of those and uh, nut screws there. Springs, extra knobs, toggle switch knobs. I don't know if, what we needed those for. Forget. Uh, input. More just general crap. You never know what you're gonna need. Trem claws, in case you need extra trem claws, you know? <laughs> Look at all these saddles. All sorts of stuff. Anything you need, because when you're out there, as all techs and roadies know, you gotta do a lot of crazy stuff sometimes. And having what you need there makes you an asset, you know? You like to be resourceful when possible. Let's see here, drawer three, this is a cool one. Look at all this, strings, polishes. Take it through some of these strings. Bunch of different bass strings, different medium and light four string and five string sets there. Um, here's some randoms, DR seven string tight fit. Blue Steel, back when we were endorsed by Blue Steel back in the day, just have tons of these. 10 through 46 and 11 through 52 packs still left over. More Dean Markley electric packs. Right now, I'm using these DR high beams, which you guys have heard me talk about a lot. Custom set that I love. These are all random acoustic strings, 12 string, nylon, all that. And then this, I've always wanted. I'm proud of this. These guys right here, check this out. These are just all randoms. So let's say, you know, you you break your first string or something. You don't want to open up a whole new pack just to get that first string or you break your fourth string or whatever, you know? So look at this, I got it all set up. 11, get into 13s, 17s, 20s, 26. So it's just, I got everything in this box, you know, 11 all the way up to, look at these, just packs of 56s. And then keep going. All these, more 56s, 60s, 62s, just packs of, of 60s there. So all the extra strings, anything you need to get the job done. Uh, that's, that's nice having that thing there. Rags, different polishes, drum polishes, all sorts of cleaning supplies, nut sauce, scratch removers. WD, gotta have it. Sauce gloss. The 65, oh man, this is a brand new bottle. I didn't even know I had this, excellent. Oh man, this is full too. Kick ass. Toothpicks, Q-tips, all that stuff. Great for taking care of guitars, getting in the nooks and crannies. Also, of course, you gotta have your Nomad. Just random stuff. This thing used to be jam packed solid, so you could barely close it, just full of earplugs that we'd go through on a daily basis. Drill bits, zip ties, level, steel wool, drill, compressed air, more WD, ratchet set, hot glue gun, gloves, dry erase board markers, <laughs> hacksaw, all sorts of stuff. More zip ties, look at these big bad boys. All right, so, bungees, all sorts of stuff, staple guns. So just everything you need for the road. And now we're gonna get into some cool stuff right here. 
This is the, the least cool drawer. Tape, extra screws, stuff like that. This is generally packed so you can't even close it with gaff tape and stuff when we'd hit the road. Gaff tape's a special type of tape, kind of like duct tape, but you could take it off a lot easier. So it's good for just taping down cords on the stage every night. Recommend gaff tape. You can get that from toursupply.com. Uh, second drawer, this is sick here. Oh, Floyd parts and bridge parts. Need an extra uh, brand new gold Floyd there? I got one. All these random pickup rings, all the different sizes you'd need. Pretty sweet. Check this out, just random, random bridges and Floyds. Need some more Floyds? There you are. How about some whammy bars? <laughs> you never know when you're going to need a new whammy bar, right? More bridges. Look at all these. Just tons of bridges. More than I'll ever have a use for, but I like having them. One of these brand new Tremel No things. I saw Ola put one of these on recently, or maybe it was an old video, I don't know, but I still never checked it out. Seems like a cool concept. <laughs> Look at this. Need an extra tuning knob? Here, I gotcha. Oh, can't find the one you need in there? How about this? <laughs> All those are Spurzels, I think. Or there's certainly tons of Spurzels in there. Locking tuner. And this is sweet. I don't know why, I just love stuff like this. More bridges, weird stuff. Because of how great the ESP guys have been over the years, I've got all these things. My man Todd over there sent us these, all labeled packages. Look at these, of all the ESP screws you need. ESP black backplate truss cover, chrome. Pick our jack plate screws, black. Neck, bridge, pickup ring, mounting screws, chrome. Pick up height screws, chrome. Backplate truss cover screws, black. So I won't go through them all, but I just love having this stuff and you can keep your guitars looking new and clean. With simple little things like replacing the screws, sometimes they get rusted out or a lot of the time they get rusted because of just, you know, sweat and the shit on your hands. So that's cool. What else we got? Tubes. I'm not a tube guy. A lot of people ask me what kind of tubes I have. Only replace them when need be. Here's some, oh, a set. What's this? Ruby 12AX7s. More tubes. What are these? Ruby 6L6s. There's lots more in here. More preamp tubes, I believe. Other stuff here. Electroharmonics GL6. So basically we just have these for somebody that knows how to tube amps. As far as I know, you gotta like rebias the amps if you're gonna change them and stuff like that. So I never mess around, I just have the text do it when need be. And the stuff I've always used, 5150s, 6505s, just sound awesome to me. So uh, no one's ever sat in front of me with a hot rotted tube amp next to a stock one and said, here, check these out to hear the difference. So I don't know if there's much of a difference. What are these, Sovtech, some Russian tubes or something? Yep, made in Russia. So anyways, that's why I'm, I'm just not much of a tube guy because no one's ever just gave me an example. Like, here, check this out. This is why you need to change your tubes. Because I can be, I can be turned, you know? I can be convinced. All sorts of wall warts there. Oh, this is cool. All these extra pickups. This is cool. Electronics. Look at all this. All these pots and selectors. 
inputs. Look at all those pots. Everything you need. Battery stuff. All the pickup components. Extra pickup. All sorts of extra pickups. This is cool. Look at this. This is just a dummy. If it's so light, it feels like nothing. This is an old, uh, maybe a standing room only MGHZ SRO. Let's see. Yeah. SRO OC1 bridge position. All set there. It's a 500k pop. What's this? Duncan JBL. I can't tell man. Duncan something. Base pickups. EMG. Oh, this is one of those active passive hot rod deals. So just pickups and all sorts of stuff. And then finally strap stuff all sorts of battery or uh, transmitter packs we each had four of these rac1 this is a uh, pv unit we we're using still use them if we were going to play today rab1 so they'd be assigned to certain guitars so you knew what was what and what went where for all your guitar switches, just tons of the DiMarzio clip locks, which you guys know I love. I got a video on those too, if you want to check that out. And that's that for the guitar work boxes. I won't kill you by going through more and more and more there, but uh, you know, you got any questions? Ask them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. And I hope uh, you got a look at uh, Something I love, I just love this stuff. I couldn't wait to get this early on. I couldn't wait to get that. In an in a episode of Everything you, uh, Everything you Love that I did recently, I talked about getting our, our road cases for the first time. And this is one of the first things we got to. I just couldn't wait to get this thing, to have drawers, a place to put stuff. And just, you feel more professional, you know, on stage and touring and all that when you have something like that, um, you know, just, because it is, it's more pro, you know? We went on tour with Slayer, we saw these things more and we'd be like, holy shit, we need those, you know? So just level up and uh, I still enjoy this stuff and uh, there's cool workbenches, you know? So anyways, you saw all the tools and everything. See how I put it to use here in an intonation video or an Evertune video or any of my guitar maintenance tu tutorials. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Come see me again. Thanks for watching. Peace.